It's almost two years post decree and I fought a parental alienation battle in court the first time, which cost me a lot of money. And I successfully defeated that claim by proving the GAL and parental evaluator to be wrong. Now, two years after the fact, my ex and his lawyer are coming back after me trying to claim parental alienation again. They're wrong. And what can I do? I really can't afford to fight this. Hi, Rafe Palmer, SDG Divorce Law, Chicagoland divorce attorney and author of the best selling divorce book. I just want this done. How smart, successful people get divorced without losing their kids, money, and minds. Available on Amazon.com and also Kindle and Audible, and where all great ebooks are sold. Rated one of the best family law books of all time by Book Authority. Answering your divorce questions, this one from our Illinois Divorce Support Network, a private Facebook group we have available uh, for people who want to ask divorce questions. And we answer them along with questions posted as social media, especially TikTok. So please like, share, and subscribe for more Illinois divorce material and answers to divorce questions in general. This question, what do you do when your ex comes back after you with unfounded claims related to parenting, in this case, parental alienation? Well, the only thing you really can do is fight it, assuming they bring a petition in court. A lot of times if they want to modify, they have to go to mediation first if they're claiming parental misconduct they have to plead and prove it. Proof is the challenge in this case, and some alleged statements from the children, unless the kids are much older, are usually not enough to amount to proving anything in a court. So remember that a guardian ad litem or child representative will investigate claims made by a parent related to children and will interview the children, talk to collateral witnesses, and gather whatever evidence is available to try to ascertain what the situation is with the kids and if anything has changed from the time the divorce judgment was entered in a substantial way, meriting a change in the parenting situation. So people make claim, make a lot of claims and they do in divorce cases, but proof is always the key and is required to convince a court to modify a parenting agreement or parenting judgment. So just some statements or allegations aren't enough. They're gonna to have to have evidence. I hope that answers your question. If you have more questions, please keep them coming. Thank you. I'm Rafe Palmer.